If you have an LED Christmas light string where the bulbs are replaceable, and part or all of the string is not lit, if you're willing to spend a few dollars on one of these non-contact voltage testers, you can quickly trace out which bulb is bad. These testers can be found on Amazon or big box stores. You might find them for five to twenty dollars, and you can probably get them even cheaper on eBay or AliExpress. And after you've fixed a few sets of lights, it pays for itself. The plug for the lights will connect to a hot and neutral terminal on the AC outlet. And the way the tool works, when it comes near a neutral wire, it doesn't respond, but when it comes near a hot wire, it'll detect that. On these two wires coming out of the plug, one of them will just continue on through and go to the other end of the string to complete the connection, and one of the wires will go light to light. So if we can plug this in, since it can be plugged in one way or the other, if we just plug this in and try to get it so that the hot wire is the one going bulb to bulb, we can figure out where we lose power along the string. So just plugging it in any way for now, we want to check the first bulb and just see if we bring this tester near it, does it indicate a hot wire is going to the bulb. So I press the button and bring it near, and nothing's happening. So this is probably the neutral. The reason I'm holding it this way so that only the wiring for this bulb is coming through, I can probe this isolated from everything else and I won't pick up anything nearby. If I lay the bulb just like this and I try to probe it, I'm picking up other hot connections. So I can show that bringing my hand here to help separate it actually helps. So doing it this way, there's no hot wire. So I'll take the plug, turn it around, and now this should be showing a hot signal. So I separate this again, and I'm picking up a hot signal. So this is the section that's not lit. In order to figure out where the bad bulb is, I'll go somewhere about halfway and hold that so we just have the socket coming out. I don't have any hot connection there, so I'm going to put a clip on here, and I know now the problem is not in this section because I've lost power somewhere from the plug along to here. So go about halfway again, check this, no power. So now I know I can put the clip here, and the problem is somewhere between the plug and here. So another halfway, say this one. Okay, I do have power up to here. So the problem is somewhere here. There's only three bulbs in between, so I'll just go one by one. Okay, I have power here. There's only two left. Check this one. There's nothing here. So we have power getting up to this point, and then there's nothing here. That means this bulb must be the broken one because power is coming to it and not passing on. So there's a break in here. So I don't need this clip anymore. And now I can just undo the latch and take this bulb out. Sometimes these are hard to get out. Pliers might help. All right. And if I look, I see there's a broken pin here. Let me try to zoom in. On one side, we still have a pin, but on the other side, there's no wire coming through there anymore. So that needs to be replaced. This set of lights came with some replacement bulbs and fuses. Put that in and push the tab down to lock it. Now the whole strand works. Back in business.